What is going on guys, welcome to Scenario Mode, Episode 5. Carry the warm tires into a third place finish. I'm N16 and we're going to go straight onto track now. And I'll let uh, this guy explain. We're in the final stages of the Malaysia Grand Prix where we're starting to see one of the Ferraris struggle with tyre wear. He'll need careful driving if he's going to defend his position and bring home a podium finish. Okay, so there we go, that's us, uh, got our points, and now we're going to, got our thing, and now we're going, to, we've gone down the straight, we're going to turn in, we're going to hit the apex now, so we're going to start the uh, thing, the idea of this one is to basically, we've got degraded tires, and to sustain our position if we can, probably, we can probably extend out, we're running on gold difficulty as usual, you get a lot more points for doing that, which is what we usually do, uh, we should be getting quite a up in this one, as I'm quite confident, quite used to using uh, worn tires like I currently am now, just look at that, getting a lot there we go, excellent, and uh, yeah, so it should be good, let's let's see as we come around these final calls now, so this weekend we got the Austrian Grand Prix guys, and um, yeah, so track no really has been to, to since like 2002, I think the last Grand Prix there was uh, set, the first lap set with Michael Schumacher, and uh, might be broken, might not be, uh, the layout looks quite weird, um, so that should be interesting. So yeah, as we come through now into these corners, gonna hit the apex is hard. I'm gonna drag up to the left, and this should be interesting now as we come up to the heavy braking zone of turn of uh, that turn. That as you see, that was very very uh, close there. As we can go through the corners, you can see the tire is really really bad. Actually, uh, we're drifting through these corners. We are actually extending our lead over Massa. He's about five seconds behind us, which is good. Uh, we're doing alright. Yeah, so the Austrian, it's a really short lap actually, 1 minute 3 was the fastest, so we were setting about 1 minute 6s, 7s maybe. Practice probably going to do about 1 minute 14s. Uh, but uh, of course the downforce, which Mercedes and Red will have, Ferraris will struggle here I reckon, with the high force downforce corner, so he's squirreling about a bit. Probably be a f We'll probably see a few crashes in the first corner. If you haven't watched my preview, go and see it. You'll see what I mean, I've included quite a bit of video footage into that as we go on to lap 55 now uh, we're still in P3 I think the two cars up ahead are P2 and of course Pobs, uh, P1 that'll be interesting we'll see if we can get there uh, turning into the first corner now oh you have to flick a little flick at the controller that yeah I do use a pad controller and uh, that should be good also guys Grid Autosport comes out in almost a week and a half now I've pre I probably ordered that with game uh, that should come out the day before but uh, of course I'm, it, my birthday's on the Friday so I can't play it till the actual Friday, but that should be good anyway. Um, it was sitting right there, ready for me to play on uh, Friday morning. I'm gonna record all the footage, like just record for a few hours, and then when I'm a bit bored of it, then I'll crop it up and put it into segments. So it should be. It looks like a good game. It looks like a very interesting game. Um, yeah, in terms of games go, so it should be good as we come in down to this hard braking. This is probably where the most tires are affected. We just. <laughs> Turn in and then get a bit of oversteer and then understeer. It's just confusing, getting lots of wheel spin as well out of that corner now as we come into. I like this corner. If you get a good exit, it usually helps flow into the, the final sector off the lap, which usually helps now. That corner doesn't require a lot of downforce. The corner, you've got to run it wide, you've got to pick braking point perfectly, try to get a wheel on the curb as that unsettles the balance of the car, and then you get catapulted down the straight, uh, down by the two gr famous grandstands. Look nice. I do like the grandstands on the left. Uh, Malaysia, good track. I do enjoy this. This track was built specially for F1, actually, the designer designed with F1 in mind with the tight herpins and the fast downforce corners and the long straights as well. So, test all aspects of the car. Of course, think, I think Mercedes won it this year as well. Uh, yeah, so moving on to F1 2014. This g the game hasn't been announced yet, but uh, things I think I'd like to see in it are. I think multiplayer needs improving a lot. I think they should also have a league function on it, because they are leagues there are now. So basically you set up a league and it remembers people's gamer tags. And it then if they DNF and stuff, it rules and points for that and all that that sort of stuff. I think that should be in there as well instead of P having other people having to do it themselves by setting up custom races because I think some people find that quite annoying. Also, wheel to wheel racing just doesn't work on this game as we saw in a few videos I've what been watching recently. Just can't uh, wheel to wheel racing just doesn't work and uh, I think that really ruins the game in some aspects, so not the best in many ways. So yeah, so we're only on, we turned it up to have rich now. So I think we turned it up to rich about half a lap ago, but gonna keep pressing on, uh, attacking these corners well, and we're gonna bounce over to the left-hand side. 
Uh, using all of our power now as we come up into the hard braking. See if there's any difference from the last lap break a little bit later. Turn in because I've got the encouragement of uh, seeing that McLaren in front of me. And then in front of them, I think Lewis Hamilton or no, is in Mark. Well, I don't know. One of the cars in front of them, but the, taking that corner a lot faster than I did last lap. Getting a bit of wheel spin out of that corner due to the fact that I put a wheel on the curb. Attacking these curbs hard. Moving to the left and to the right, braking. There you go. See what I mean about unsettling the car? Just, yeah. Quite a bit. We're going to use the remainder of our curves down the straight. Don't get DRS, which is disappointing. Fuel lights come on, which means we haven't got a lot of fuel left. But it should be enough to propel us to the line on this on the Malaysia Kuala Lumpur track. Do we take tack? Give me one more lap. I'd have caught him. Uh, it's a shame Sebastian Vessel was in the end and uh, getting a little bit of wheel spin out. But change up the gears quick. And we take the checkered flag in Malaysia to finish third. But build up a gap to the car behind quite well, actually. Um, we'll see now where how many points we got it should be interesting to see how many points we got but let's just uh, have a look there you go that's a good score overcoming tire wear issues the ferrari driver was able to deliver a fantastic drive and hold on to a podium position okay so let's see where that is in the world now so we're just going to go for a little loading screen and then uh, yeah it should be good i think i did quite i think i did quite well on that uh, that scenario if i'm honest there isn't too many left there's four left um which, yeah, that's why they haven't changed the look of those characters since F1 2011. Game. I didn't get 2010. Did, don't think I had an Xbox, no. I, or I only just had an Xbox. That was the time when I first ever got one. So, yeah. Uh, Shaking hands with the mechanics. And, uh, yeah. Pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, let's see after the certain screen goes. We'll see where we come in the world. I'm predicting quite hard, probably in the 500th, 400th. I think what I'm predicting. Oh, uh, what I thought I did. Um, and let's have a look at where we came. Gone the final year, and we've come for 200. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.